Sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. I'm gonna show you guys some amazing Japanese packaging starting with this beer can. Whoa, whoa, wow, this is so cool. It looks like I'm holding a mago beer. You know, it, uh, the whole top just comes out when I pull it out. You know why we make this kind of products? Japanese people enjoy the form, especially when the form is nice and silky like this. Inside of this can, they made it like a real rough, and then when you open it, gas yes, touches the rough side, and then it gets more form out. This feels rougher than outside. If you thought this was amazing packaging, wait until I show you this. You just all you have to do is push it up, and then the detergent comes from this hole, and then. Without this, you have to do this, right? You have to measure it and then you might, you know, get your fingers dirty. Like a fountain. So I'm wondering, how does this work? There's a small tube inside. So when you squeeze it, the detergent comes out from the small tube and then you can measure it. I don't know why it's, I feel so satisfied. I saw this bottle when I was small uh, for the clothes detergent. But unfortunately, I cannot find these kind of bottles anymore. But now they sell these bottles online. This package is so, so crazy amazing. The lid comes out, take this out, boom, apart. The sauce is here. <laughs> what do you think? So this is a normal natto pack package. Usually it comes with sauce and mustard. This tricky film for this kind of regular natto, you have to open this. I don't know why I always make my fingers so messy opening this. See that? See that? The nut is already super slimy, but this one, you don't have to worry about anything. You just do this, and it's ready to go. I feel like all natto companies should start using this special sauce packaging. But if you're really lazy, you're gonna love this. This is curry udon noodle. So this has everything you need inside. You don't even need a pot because this is your pot. This is also, I think, genius. Those toppings used to be packed like, individually. Easy for us too, because we don't have to, you know, tear open each package too. Special curry roux. This is a udon stock. Udon. Before you put it on and turn on the heat, you have to put the stock first. This package is also pretty good. It has a small slit and then it just comes out so easily like this. Then, put it on the heat. <laughs> don't worry, it's safe. My leg says I'm, I'm, I'm ready to run away, but I'm, don't worry, it's safe. Then put some beef, onions, carrots. It's getting warm very fast. It smells good. By the way, I don't recommend you guys to make it like this close to your face. <laughs> I'm shooting. Kids, don't do it at home, okay? It sounds like it's gonna explode, but it's not gonna, right? Let's put our udon noodle. Safe way. Always safety first. Let it cook. So this is made by Onchi. Onchi is a famous Japanese udon company. Very yellow. Golden loo. I feel like I'm camping now. No, yeah, we can definitely do this on camp. Okay, wow, it smells so good. It looks like it's ready to eat. Now, my pot becomes my bowl. Super easy! Yay, I don't have to do dishes! It's hot. Oh! <laughs> so tasty, wow. I can't believe that was, it was so easy. I think it took less than five minutes. As easy as instant ramen. You, you didn't even need to put water. I would put some eggs and cheese. That's gonna be amazing too. Speaking of cheese, this cheese packaging is amazing. I'm gonna show you how to open this package. So hold here, and then at the back, two red tub. Okay, pull it. Ooh, very satisfying. Your fingers will never be dirty. Before this, you have to touch the cheese, but now you don't have to touch your cheese and eat it. So another great thing about this box is it has a small cut here. So you don't have to dig in your cheese like this. All you have to do is... We are controlled. I feel like humans are being controlled like this. Human. I'm gonna cut, make a cut here so it's easy for you guys to pick it up. <laughs> Stupid. 
I don't like them. Making the packaging more convenient. They turn the friggin' humans lazy. Okay, let's get some, and then I just got it from here. I didn't even think about this slit. And then another great thing about this box is it doesn't open completely. So it's it's locked here. How does it lock here? Let's open all the way. Ooh, okay. Here has a small hole, and here is a like a blue tab. I guess that's like a, that's stuck here. It's just a, such a small invention, but I think it's very smart. I think good packaging also should give you some kind of satisfaction when you open it, just like this one. But be careful, we are being controlled by the man. Damn, damn, serious crap! I'm sick of being social engineered, it's not funny! So this packaging was pretty amazing, but let me show you something even more amazing. This is special Japanese pudding. It looks very interesting, right? Not only it looks unique, but also how you eat it is super unique. So it comes with caramel sauce. Oh, it's slightly wet. Looks very interesting, right? It's a milk pudding inside. I'm gonna show you how to open it. Three, two. One. I feel like a pokey cow's boobs. I'm sorry, but the color is pink too. You know, it looks like boobs. packaging, isn't it? They created this interesting packaging in 2006 uh, when they were about to sign up for a competition, like a daily product competition. You know, everybody was making milk pudding or cheesecakes already, so they wanted to make it something really funny and interesting and then unforgettable. And then they created this. Wow! It looks like a... What? Mozzarella cheese! Oh my gosh, this is so good! It's like a it's like a cheese and a milk pudding combined together. And it's super creamy. Wow, this is so good. Mr. you gotta try this. Almost like a really thick cream cheese. Yeah, but it doesn't taste like cheese. Pretty good. Oh my gosh, this is Wow, this is good. That's really I'm finishing it now. Not only the packaging is very amazing and interesting, but also the flavor is amazing. Boca, we are waiting for you to be a sponsor. <laughs> now let's take a look at even more cool things. Paper filter coffee. I've seen this since I was small, so I thought this is all over the world. But I asked Mr. Eats family in the US and in Canada, they said they don't really see it often. This kind of paper filter style coffee in Japan if you stay in a hotel or a ryokan, this is what you're gonna get. How you make it is very simple. You keep pouring the hot water. I don't know, whenever I make this, I feel very soothing. And also the sound of coffee bubble is making... Very relaxing too. You guys probably use the coffee machine that comes with a small capsule, right? You put the capsule and then mix it. It's uh, really loud. <laughs> No offense to the company or coffee, I like that, but I still like this manual, manually made coffee. Cheers! I think this is the coolest packaging. This is a dried rice inside, but when you put hot water inside, you can make cooked rice bowl. The rice is really dry. I'm not lying. Like this. And it's some, uh, this is a uh, salmon flavor, so you see a little tiny bit of wood salmon. Oh yeah, here. Freeze-dried salmon. Oh, wow. Now inside is revealed. So a red line is a sign that we have to put water, fill up the water up to this line. And then the fun part is here. Let's pour hot water. You have to make sure it's, it's zipped all the way because you are going to shake it. If it's open, you're gonna, you're gonna get burned. Hold the size to get the water all the way to, to the bottom. <laughs> Can you believe I'm making rice bowl <laughs> in this package? So there are many kinds of small genius points here. So first of all, when you peel the sticker, you can see the you know line that how much you have to put water. And then again, after putting the water, we have to shake it. 
but it's sealed like this. So it's not hot at all. You can shake it easily. And then it can stand. Our rice bowl is gonna take about 15 minutes. So let's take a look at these amazing packaging. Stoky Treat is a monthly snack subscription service. It's filled with latest, most exclusive, and seasonal Japanese snacks. This month's theme is Japan's Best Bites. It has best snacks from each season of the year. Each box comes with a unique culture guide that talks about the, all the snacks in the box. Mito style udon. I think it's very unique. But today, I wanna try Japanese melon flavor Kit Kat. Like a super, super, super sweet melon flavor. But if you are more into traditional Japanese flavor, then you're gonna have to try Sakurako. So Sakurako supports local Japanese confectionaries, and each box comes with local snacks, tasty tea, and also beautiful tableware. It says Huku means happiness. So this month's theme is Taste of Japan. It has best snacks from all over Japan, like this one. Kuromitsu Kinako Mochi from Tengudo Takarabune found in 1953 in Hokkaido. Wow, very unique. It's always nice to learn where the snack is from like this. Let's try. Wow, what is this? Even though I've never tried this one before, the flavor is very nostalgic. Green tea from Uji. It's actually a very famous company. Again, got to have tea, nice tea with nice traditional Japanese snack. Perfect combination. Tokyo Treat and Sakurako, they definitely make great gift for your friend who love Japan or family. These are a great way to experience Japan. Then make sure to use my code, Mrs. Eats, and my link to get the $5 off your first box. Moment of truth. Wow, really? Wow. Wow, look at this. Onigiri, rice bowl. Eh? Mmm, I would be very happy if I could get this in an emergency situation. It's nicely salted, salted, and then you can get a little bit, tiny little bit of protein from dried salmon. Mmm, now let me show you some cool packaging that keep your fingers really clean. This is called Chocomonaka Jumbo. Not this outside packaging, it's unique. The inside packaging is very unique. Outside's a wafer. Oh, satisfying. Hi. You can eat like this and you don't have to worry about getting your fingers dirty. Not only that, the wafer is coated with chocolate. The white wafer doesn't absorb any liquid coming from the ice cream. The chocolate is also covered, covered with the sides too. So when you start eating it, it kind of starts getting softer and then melting, but the ice cream will not come out from the wafer. That's why you can still feel the crunchiness of the outside of the wafer. Let's try. Oh, I think it's very genius. Coolish. Actually, this is one of Mr. Eat's favorite ice cream. So before you eat, you have to give it a massage. And then... Oh! <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> this ice cream, you will never get your fingers dirty. Your fingers are gonna get really cold, but your fingers are not gonna get dirty. And then I think this can keep the ice cream inside pretty cold, so you can bring it to picnic or something within a bunch of ice. And these next packages will blow you away! Check them out in this video! I'll see you there! Okini! If you were amazed by any of these Japanese packaging, please put mind-blowing emoji in the comments! <laughs> I just wanted to say it.